The eruption of Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island continued Tuesday morning with all the lava confined to the top of the caldero in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The USGS Hawaii Volcano Observatory reported no unusual activity along the rift zone and the volcano's alert level remains alert. Helicopter flight geologists were able to record the data necessary to produce new maps showing ongoing changes at the summit. This map shows an overview with new information. Lava is shown in red and this thermal map shows. The temperature of the lava from blue to red with the red color indicating warmer temperatures in the previous eruption after the 28th Dara collapse, which is equivalent to the Dara collapse this time, there was a crack outside the crater at the point of descent. The easternmost vent block in the drop block as well as the westernmost vent in the crater became inactive on Monday. The event, which is still active, now stretches for half a mile or 750 meters and channels lava flows to the bottom of the crater. Scientists say fusion readings appear to be down from initial eruption levels. The lava found remained at a height of about 10 to 15 meters or 32 to 50 feet as of Tuesday morning. Geologists noted that there had been nearly 5 meters or 16 feet of uplift in the crater since the eruption began, indicating a large amount of lava had infiltrated the crater floor. A sulfur dioxide emission level of 49,000 tons per day was measured on Monday afternoon, a figure down significantly from the 190,000 tons per day measured after the eruption occurred. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park reported the closure of the Kaanakako Observation Area on Monday due to high concentrations of SO2 and volcanic particulates. Park officials said the site will remain closed until it is safe to reopen other viewing areas, so areas at the Uikahuna Kilauea Overlook and other areas along the Crater Rim Trail remain open to the public.